Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks, uh, Carlos Mendez for subscribing. Sorry, I was fucking up. I missed it. Uh, let's see. So, if I get out here, cancel the phone call at 40, that means 55 is when I need to walk into the marker. Duping! Woo! On mission zero! All that fun stuff. Pause buffers. Answer the phone call. Did I do it? I did it! Woohoohoo! Right. Now I have to hold down this button and don't let go or bad things will happen. Well, actually, nothing will happen, and that's bad. You know. Oh, I'm gonna make it. You see that? Oh, I can't really show you anything but destroy what he's Oh, hey, thanks. Love all your content, man. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, anyway, hang on. You see this gap here? One time when I was, like, practicing duping, I managed to, like, drive along the wall into that gap, and I fell through, and really weird stuff was happening. It was pretty cool. And I've tried to do it every single time I've done this dupe, and I can't ever do it again. I don't know how I did it. Uh, so yeah, I'm still, that phone call that was ringing, I'm holding the button for it. Um, so what's happened is, okay, so this is so hard to explain, I've got a long drive though. So there's a boolean, or a bool, or a flag, or whatever you want to call it in the game, which is, a, you know, a one or a zero, it's true or false. There's a thing called on mission, right? And that determines whether I'm on a mission or not. The game considers me to be in a mission. When you're in a mission, you can't start other missions, obviously. And stuff like, and lots of other things. When your phone rings, it sets you to on a mission one, on mission one. So you can't start missions while the phone's ringing, which is why we always have to shoot to get rid of the phone call to start the mission. Um, but what I'm doing here is that I've done a glitch, I now have a phone call while I'm on mission zero, right? We call that an on mission zero call. So I'm holding this phone call, and when I answer it, I'm going to have a phone call, and when that phone call ends, it's going to set my on mission zero, uh, on mission to zero again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this mission, right? I'll, I'll pause and explain. I'm going to start this mission, which sets my on mission to one, then in the cutscene, I'm going to answer the phone call, which sets my on mission to zero again, which then restarts the mission, right? So if I walk in, I'll watch a bit of this cutscene, no, I'll let go of the button, the cutscene no, starts again, and now we're doing this mission twice, right? And that is what we call duping. Um, there's a lot more to it, and it's pretty complicated, but <laughs> that's what's happening. Uh, so yeah, now I'm doing T-Bone Mendez twice. At the same time, which is fast, obviously. If you could do every single mission in the game at the same time, then this game would be pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, you c if you look on the map, you can see how there aren't any mission markers or anything. This is because I'm on mission one, right? I'm, I'm on a mission now. But by doing the thing with the stadium and the phone call, where I start stadium and get a phone call at the same time, I can trick the game into thinking I'm not on a mission when I have a phone call. What's the benefit of doing the same mission twice? So like, how the game works is it tracks how many how many missions for any like character or marker or whatever you've done, right? Uh, so by doing T-Bone Mendez twice, I'm effectively doing two uh, Jizzy missions uh, at the same time. So instead of doing this mission and then like uh, Mike Torino, the one where you have to go like save Mike Torino from the airport and you have to drive him back in a limo and all that shit. Well, I, I don't have to do that anymore because I'm doing T-Bone Mendez twice. So there's like a counter that counts how many Jizzy missions I've done. Right now, I've done one Jizzy mission, and if I beat this one, I'll beat it twice. So instead of going to two, I'll go to three. Uh, but there's also lots of other benefits. Hang on. If I... Um, 
So the main thing, the main difference between what I'm learning now and what I did before, where if I duped missions, is like now there's a mission in San Fierro called Yay Kaboom Boom, right? And in order to start Yay Kaboom Boom, I need to have completed like all the woozy missions and all the previous like missions for the Red Dragon or whatever it is. I don't remember. Like the, the ones that start at the garage, right? I need to complete all the garage missions and all the woozy missions. And completing... Completing all of the red dragon missions is what gives me... Wait, did I not dupe that right? Oh, there it is. Yeah, see it. Wait, what? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was a bit odd. See, I just passed the mission twice. So while there was a mission there before, it's, it's gone now. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, anyway, by, by skipping Yay Kaboom Boom, by, like, duping, what is it, uh, Torino's Last Flight, doing that twice, I skip Yay Kaboom Boom, but I unlock the rewards for Yay Kaboom Boom. Um, why did it split twice? I guess it's because I completed a mission twice. Um, yeah, anyway, by skipping Yay Kaboom Boom, I can skip the requirement to do woozy missions at all. Because I unlock the San Fierro missions. Oh shit. I unlock the San Fierro. Oh, sorry. I unlock the desert missions in Los Venturas without having to do the woozy ones. The problem with that is that Yeager Boom Boom is the mission that makes it so you don't get any wanted stars for going to Los Venturas. Uh, so I could beat the rest of the game, but I'd have four stars the entire fucking time. Uh, so to get around that, there's another glitch that uh, locks your <gasps> wanted level to zero. I need to hold this phone call. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this phone call and uh, 25. at 25, I let go of it. Now there's a 15 second timer until I get that phone call again. So that was 25. Maybe I turn the bike around while I'm waiting. So at 40, I'm going to get the phone call again. So if I walk into this marker at 40, pause buffer to delay the marker, then I get the phone call. Now I'm, I'm like, the reason I can move here is because I'm holding the phone call, right? So I'm supposed to like wait for the countdown and shit and not be able to <laughs> drive around before everyone else. Uh, so right now I'm on mission one, yeah, because I'm doing quarry. Uh, quarry, sorry, I'm doing a bulb. But I'm holding a phone call. So if I just wait for if I just wait for Blood Bowl to run out, Blood Bowl will finish, and when Blood Bowl finishes, it sets on mission back to zero. So I'll be off of a mission again. But the difference here is, is that I have a phone call at the same time, right? So I have a phone call while not being on a mission, which I'm not supposed to be able to do. That's what lets you do weird shit. Uh, this is where stuff gets really hard and I'm probably not going to reach chat much more. But now I have to like... Now I have to try and keep this phone call through two missions. So I have to... Drive here. Start Outrider. Partner. Partner. Jiz, what's going on? So I'm still holding that phone call, right? Oh my... Bike went. Okay, I thought I kept that. Never mind. I don't remember what D swans and what doesn't. Is that a police officer? Oh shit, there's a police over there. That's okay. Um, so I'm still holding that phone call, right? If I let go of a phone call in a car, it doesn't answer it, it just cancels. And now, if you see, I have mission markers again as soon as I let go of that button. So by releasing the phone call, I set my on mission to zero again, right? So even though I'm doing a mission, the game considers that, that I'm not. I just grab this bribe star for safety's sake. Uh, so now I have to try and, if as soon as I get out of this car, the phone call is going to start ringing again, like that. So what's happening is that I'm getting phone calls because I'm not on a mission when I am on a mission. <laughs> it's, it's really complicated. Um, but what I've got to try and, my, my goal is to make sure I'm holding that phone call at the end of the mission again. So, I'm just letting the phone call ring now because I don't need to worry about it because I'm doing the mission. Um, 
but the main concern is making sure I'm holding the phone when the mission ends, because it's the, the when the mission ends, it sets on mission to zero again, right? So I need to be making sure I'm already holding the phone for when that happens, because the phone ringing sets the mission on mission to one. This is tricky. Uh, the problem is, later in the game, there's lots of dupes that if you don't do them exactly correctly, the game crashes. Because, surprise, the game doesn't handle you having two copies of a mission running very well. <laughs> it doesn't like that. There are some missions where you can just dupe it as easy as uh, that T-Bone Mendez mission I did earlier, where it's just like, oh, the cutscene started, I'll let go of the phone call and start it again, right? And then nothing bad happens, you just pass the mission twice, but that's the exception, not the rule. Uh, oops, shit. Most of the time the game crashes if you try and do shit like that. Can I not? There we go. I need this ammo for later. Is that gonna blow up? Yeah, see, my, my phone's ringing when I'm, like, in a mission. It's weird. Where did I leave my bike? Here, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I better start holding the phone call after I kill these guys. Because I need to make sure I'm holding it before the mission ends, like I said. Don't fall down that hole. Up. Is that gonna blow up? Yeah, it must be right. Yeah, okay, cool. Ah, I picked up the bloody chainsaw. Okay, I need to hold this. Oh, no, wait, no, I don't. Wait, do I? No, 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 I don't want to hold that yet. I think I've used too many rockets. Is this all alive still? Motherfucker. Okay, hold that, there we go, right. So now I need to hold down my, uh, I'm using the 4 button, it says tab, but I'm using 4. Uh, so now we just wait for this mission to end while I'm holding the phone call. If I find the armor that's over here. I have like nothing to do until the van gets there. We used to swim during this bit, but since we're skipping woozy, we don't need to swim anymore. So there's like nothing for me to do. <laughs> This is really tense though, because it's like, if my thumb lets go of this button, <laughs> even for like a second, I'm completely fucked. And it's all over. I guess I should go find the banner. Right? Yeah, holding a button isn't too hard, but holding a button while also doing all this other shit is difficult S. <laughs> Not letting go is, yeah. Like, it'd be fine if I just had to sit here and hold a button oh, hey, for like thanks. 15 seconds. Hey, but... Josh, it's like to see the glorious Sar streams again. Sar Cheers streams. for 34 months. Three year badge soon. <laughs> thanks, Sign Fan. There isn't a three year badge option in on Twitch, unfortunately. Anyway, we know if I let go of the phone call because the press tab to answer your cell phone and all the mission markers will come back. Yeah, more of a brain issue than a hand issue, yeah, I guess. I mean, holding the phone makes it so, like, you know, you can't aim very well and stuff like that. Uh... Oh, this is where it gets weird. So, <laughs> so I have three stars, right, and I don't want three stars. So normally we'd save here, but I can't because I'm holding a phone call. So what I have to do is start the mission, not die, get on the bike, then let go of the call, and then, <laughs> then save. Uh, there. So I just saved while I'm doing a mission. <laughs> so I just saved during Snail Trail. 
if I reload that save, the game's gonna crash. Because, funnily enough, the game doesn't like it when you load a save that's happening during a mission. But, you have to save there to get rid of one level. Yeah, the thing is, the button you have to hold is like the side arm button, like the, the secondary fire button. So if I like aim, I'll be shooting all the time. <clears throat> I also can't use a sniper rifle or... I'm pretty sure you can't use any first person weapons. Because if you use a first person weapon while holding the phone call, the, uh, you just answer the phone call. Excuse me officer, I need this car. Right, so now here comes the hard part. So I need to do Snail's Trail, but I need to also have a police vehicle, which I have. Let's just get rid of... Alright. Yeah, it's not too much of a problem, the actual, like, practicality of me having to hold a button down while also playing the game. This is when my superior MMO mouse that has 12 buttons on the side comes in useful. <laughs> this is like, okay, I'll bind one of those buttons to hold phone. So yeah, anyway, as you see on the map, I've got like... I've got the truth mission. <laughs> uh, which is a long time ago that I already did that. And we've got... we actually have the... is that the marker for snail trail that's on the map? It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the the start snail trail mission marker available when I'm on the snail trail. Uh, anyway, we just have to do snail trail now. But I have to do snail trail while on mission call zero. Mission zero? On mission zero? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh, my progress with Denise increased, that's good. <laughs> did I answer enough phone calls? I don't know that I did. Hmm... I answered one truth call, which is not useful at all. I shouldn't even have that call, but I messed up on my practice save and didn't answer it. If possible to time travel using duping, I don't know what you mean. But yeah, anyway, the reason I'm like keeping like this phone call through missions is because I need to do a glitch that requires an on mission call. Um, <clears throat> sorry, an on mission zero call. At the end, I'm gonna go to the airport and fly back to San Fierro. And obviously doing Snail Trail, then getting the old Mission Zero call, then going all the way back to Los Santos to get into the airport is slow, so... You have to, like, keep the call through these missions. I need to answer two more, okay. That's fine, I can answer calls. Probably answer one right now, actually. Wait, do I need to answer calls, or is it just like, I can if I want? Because I don't want to be like holding a phone call and realise I haven't answered enough phone calls to start another mission. I don't need to, yeah, okay. It's, it's obviously faster because I need to wait until I get the monster call before I buy zero. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about speed, I'm just practicing like this. But I'm not going to worry about speed at all my first few runs, I just want to do this right. Okay, so this is where it gets a bit tricky. So, I need to hold the phone call before the mission ends, before the mission sets on mission to zero again. Because if I'm already on mission zero, then it's not useful turning it to on mission zero. So I need to hold this phone call, then as soon as I start aiming, I can't stop shooting anymore. Because I'm holding this button, if I aim, I fire, right? 
And now I need to hold this phone call down. Uh, did it split? It did, fantastic. Okay, so I need to go to the airport while holding this button. Uh, I also need to start Vigilante. Which is why I needed a police car. Uh, one minute 30, that's not enough. Do another one. I'm scared, I want as maximum time as possible. One minute? No, one more please. Ooh, a bike. Give me that bike. Thanks, dude. Fantastic. Thanks okay, a lot. that's fine. I'm there now anyway. Right, take this. So now I've left the police car. There's a 60 second timer counting down, right? Um, while that 60 second count, like, um, since I'm on vigilante, I'm on a mission, so I can't do anything. But I have this handy dandy phone call, right? So if I go here, then when I get close enough, if I let the phone call go, I'm not on a mission again. See, all my markers are back. Then I can go into this thing, go into here, and then while I'm in this menu, I can hold the phone call button again, then the phone call starts ringing. Any second now, there it is. Holding the phone call. So I, I have an on mission zero call again, right? So at 10 seconds I'll skip, Now let's hope I do this right, because I was struggling with this yesterday. So now Vigilante is about to end and set on mission to zero, while I'm holding a phone call. And when it does that, I gain control again. Hello. This is supposed to be a cutscene. Um, but anyway, there's something tricky I need to do here. I need to blow up the plane before it gets to the end of the runway. Or bad things will happen. Uh, so I need to... I actually want to aim like slightly to the side, like this. There we go. Good, good, good. Uh, there's the boat. I'm still holding that phone call, by the way. Don't kill me. Shit, that was done. Why did I want vigilant? Uh, because I was further away, yes. I didn't want, like, the mission timer to run out before I, before I started. Because if the mission timer is shorter than 60 seconds when I get out of the police car, I have less than 60 seconds to do it. So. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do this until safe. So I'm holding this phone call again, but I'm not on a mission anymore. So if I run over here, oh, I just need to split. Right, this is where it gets tricky because I need to save in order to make it the right time of day for Ice Cold Killer. But I also need to hold this phone call, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the N NRG challenge. I'm going to get a few of these things. All right now, at 30 seconds, this is a really tight window. I need to shut up for a minute. I also can't lean forwards because I'm holding the phone call button, so I'm really slow. And there's 16 seconds left, I have to let go, like now. Okay, good. Put the NRG here. Save twice to make it the right time of day. Quickly! Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright, hold down the phone call. Oh! Oh god, okay. <laughs> that happened really fast and it's hard to understand, but... Uh... <laughs> so, okay. What happened there? What happened there? So... Uh, <laughs> so I saved twice, right? To make the right time of day while I wasn't on a mission. And then... My phone call rang, so I was on a mission, so I held down the phone call, and then the NRG challenge ended, so I wasn't on a mission anymore, and then I started the mission while holding the phone call, so now I have an on mission zero phone call again. Yeah, that, that's that's really complicated, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> I don't know. That took me ages to get that. Alright, now here's some other funky stuff, so I'm having a phone call again. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Okay, good. Uh, See, so yeah, I have a phone call again, but there's some weird stuff here, so I need to make sure the phone call starts ringing before I drop down from here. 
Okay, there it is. Phone calls ringing. I stand very close to this marker. Shoot once, walk into the marker. And then hope this doesn't break. Fantastic. Is my phone call gonna ring? Fantastic. Omega. Do you remember when you told me, hey Josh, just shoot it with an AK-47? I blame you for this. For fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we're fucked now. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> do this again. So what I was trying to do was hold that phone call while shooting the car, but it's very difficult. Yeah, 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 I know the, the petrol, the gas tank. I know, I know. But it's difficult while holding a phone call to aim correctly. I had to, like, I had to wait for the phone to start ringing, hold the button to hold the phone call, then try and shoot the thing at the same time. I can't just sniper rifle it like normal because... You can't hold a phone call during a sniper rifle. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. It's not like I answered a phone call or anything. I'll just have to set up the dupe again, it's okay. This is just slow, that's all. But it's fine, I need to practice this. I need to be able to do this. Because what I was doing before is like I was sniper rifling the car until the jizzy jumped out. And when Jizzy was running away, I was following him until I got the phone call again, and then I... Then I answered that phone call. And, um... Then shot Jizzy while holding the call. Anyway, that was 41 I let go of the phone call. Uh, so I need to... It's 56, isn't it? There we go. Did I get it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. This is obviously pretty bad in a speed run because I need to um, I need to do all this again, and that's slow. But... Yeah, I'm not duping for the sake of duping right now. I'm I'm not even trying to dupe Ice Cold Killer. I'm just trying to keep my phone call through it, and then keep my phone call through Pier 69, and then do Torino's flight twice, uh, and. Torino's flight twice is very important. So that's the thing that lets me skip every single woozy mission. I guess this way is actually faster than the way I went, isn't it? See, I'm holding a phone call right now. Oh. Oh no, where the fuck am I going? No, 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 I need to start Ice Cold Killer. Ooh, that's... I want it to... Oh, no, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, I've done the Zero Star Wanted level glitch, so I can't get a Wanted Star anymore. <laughs> see. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I ran over a cop, but it doesn't actually make any difference, does it? Hold the phone call. Nice cold killer starts. Oh, I just used another phone call. Mm, shit, that's not good. That was the woozy call. I'm gonna run out of calls if I keep doing this. I have to get this right. I totally boost. Is it a box? Uh, I got a GameCube for a maker because he wanted one, but it's like the shipping was expensive if he ordered it or something. He gave me the money for it, it's all good. Alright, uh, right, yeah. Hmm. No. It's just it's just a GameCube to open, it's not ours. Anyway, uh yeah, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna lose phone calls every time I do this, because apparently I'm answering one there. Oh shit. Turning is happening. Uh, 
Right. Uh, yeah, cool. I still have a phone call left. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I should have made a save. That probably would have been intelligent. I'll do that next time. Alright, so let's make sure I get the phone call again. There it is. Fall down here. Hey. The camera changes. That means I've done it. Shoot. Go in. Go down. Uh, there's no good weapon to run with here, is there? Whatever. Okay. Wait for the phone call. Fuck me, he's gonna get away. Okay. Woo! I'm holding the phone call. I did it. Hooray! Okay. Hey, Caesar. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, put the phone now, please. Okay. Okay, gotta hold this phone call. At least I hope I'm holding a phone call. I can't tell. There's no way of knowing. Shit, no way. Uh, Pier 69, Pier 69. This is another tricky mission to keep the phone call through. I have to do some funky stuff. Um, so let's park the bike here. Start Pier 69. Check to see if we still have the call. We do. Fantastic. Okay. Let's, let's park the bike. I think that's good enough. We'll soon find out. <clears throat> right, I got the phone call again. That's good. Hey. Did I kill that guy? I didn't even kill that guy. Shit! They walked right into it. There's still some on the left, CJ. So few weapons I can actually sprint with in my hot bar. It's really annoying. Hot bar? Um, weapons wheel. All right, hold this phone call. So I need to kill T-Bone and then let go of the phone call and look at what the in-game time is. Slow down, Carl. Uh. Alright, so I killed him at 20, so 35. So the phone call is going to come in again at 9.35. So I need to make sure I'm aiming the sniper rifle at 9.35. Wait for it. There it is. So shoot him. Let go. I'll hold the phone call and then the mission ends. Fantastic. Okay. Need to be holding that phone call when the mission ends. Oh yeah, and this happens. <laughs> Since the hold phone call button is a uh, use side weapon button, or secondary fire button or whatever, I'm uh, shooting a lot. But it's okay because I, I have zero wanted stars all the time, so it doesn't really matter too much. Man, that was difficult. So yeah, I need to make sure I'm holding the phone call when the mission ends. But the problem is I'm like using a sniper rifle to kill Ryder. And you can't hold a phone call during when you're holding a sniper rifle. So I have to like let go of the phone, make the 15 seconds count down, and then shoot Ryder. And then make sure the 15 seconds runs out as I kill Ryder. It's pretty tricky, but I seem to have got this down. Uh, right, now we do Torino's last flight twice. So, if I drive the bike here... Yeah, the ammo's irrelevant, doesn't matter. Right, Torino's last flight, I let go of the phone call, we answer a phone in this cutscene, we put down the, the phone that's supposed to happen in the cutscene, oh, I find the marker, the there it is, we start the mission twice. Good, good. Okay, it's funny, I'm sort of like doing marathon commentary, but it's not for, <laughs> not for entertainment, it's for me to remember what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, now I'm doing Torino's last flight twice. If I... All of that holding the phone ball shit was just to <laughs> dupe this a little bit quicker. Alright, so if I hold this weapon, jump in here... Oh yeah, there's two helicopters, because I'm doing the mission twice. But thankfully you only have to shoot one. Uh, go over here, get back on the NRG. Jump, rockets, aim, shoot. Got it. Nice. 
And we beat this mission twice. So it's split twice. <laughs> uh, stupid auto splitter not knowing when I dupe missions. Right, so we'll just skip that. Alright, so now I need to answer some phone calls. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, what? That's Jeffro. I need to answer the monster phone call before I buy Zero. Because buying Zero gives me another phone call. And I need to use that to dupe, so... <clears throat> so I need to make sure to... Have two splits, it's not a bad idea, S. That's it. This is a friend of yours. So now I have the... See? Now I've unlocked Los Rinchuris. And I never did any woozy missions. Alright, let's buy this. <clears throat> That's a split, I guess. Ah! Don't change the scene. Come on now. <clears throat> Everything went dark. I was like, oh no. Okay, so I have a zero phone call, so if I hold that, let go of it at 13, so at 13, 15, the phone. So yeah, f important phone calls take 15 seconds to come back, so if I... Walk in the marker at exactly the right point, pause buffer to give myself some leeway, answer the phone call, fantastic. So now I'm holding that phone call again. Um, now the difficult part is that I need to do driving school while holding the phone call. It's all gold splits because there's nothing to compare to, yes. <laughs> um... So yeah, I think the reason I need to do driving school is so that I unlock, um, I unlock the stadium at Los Santos for duping later. So I guess I could skip driving school now in this practice, but we'll do it to practice anyway. Bike. Bye bye NRG. Okay, so I've got to hold the phone call for all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we need two or three golds. God, this is difficult while holding a phone call down. Okay, good. Silver, whatever. Uh, left. That's a gold. Yeah, so my driving skill. The reason you're doing driving school is to increase your driving skill. Fuck, do that one again. <laughs> I can't hold down the phone call much longer. This is so painful. Okay. Uh, let's not do that one. That takes too long. Hopefully my driving skill's high enough. If it isn't, whatever. Uh... Like you. I don't think... Does getting a silver even increase your driving skill? I have no idea. Why was I scared? I should have stole a police bike. I've got fucking on mission... I've got zero stars, haven't I? Okay. Can't you put some duct tape on the button? No, because I need to let go of it as well as hold it. Okay, so that's... This is where things get really tricky, and I need to dupe monster, but duping monster is like frame perfect or something. I think if Patrick is to be believed what he told me yesterday, I don't think it is because I was getting it a lot more consistently, but... Um, the next mission, when I try to dupe it, uh, the cutscene, I need to skip it really quickly. If I skip it on the first first frame, nothing happens and I can try again. If I skip it on the second frame, I dupe the mission. If I dupe it on the third or any later than that, uh, the game soft locks. <laughs> like, really soft locks. I can't even pause. So, I need to make sure I get this right. 
Can't I bind the phone call? So the, the phone call is bound to like, um, the phone call's bound to the four button, right? And I have like 12 buttons on my mouse, so I have number four. So I'm holding number four on my mouse and my thumb, but it still makes it awkward because I have to like, you know, holding the mouse is really awkward. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is I can't use macros. Macros aren't allowed, are they? Well, I don't think macros are allowed. Okay, so we'll start the mission. And we're on mission zero again. So this is where I need to mash really quickly. Let's pray I get this right. I need more room for this microphone. Okay. Did I get it? First time, baby. Oh yeah. All right, good stuff. All about speed. Yes, easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, so what happened there, I only learnt that like last night, um, by the way, I, I didn't figure any of this out, I'm just the popular idiot who explains it to everyone, and everyone assumes that I found it and says I'm smart and stuff, I, I didn't figure any of this out, I'm just doing what people told me to do. But anyway, what, what happens there is that you start the mission, right, and then that intro cutscene plays, and then the mission starts again. But the problem is, then there's two monster trucks inside of each other. So if you just do that normally, and then get inside the monster truck, the monster truck, like, blows up. Um, because you can't drive it. So what you need to do is you need to start one copy, get into the monster truck, start driving it, then start the other copy, and then you pop out of the monster truck when you're inside of it. So you don't blow up. So I'm doing two copies of monster at the moment. Also, my splits don't say monster times two, but whatever. Oh yeah, the wanted stars. Yeah, yeah. So, what's happening is that because I didn't pass Yay Kaboom Boom, I didn't unlock the Los, uh, Los Venturas. Like, all the bridges still have roadblocks on them and things like that. Um, so the game really wants to give me four stars when I'm here, so like, they keep flashing on. Um, but the thing is... Because I did the zero star glitch earlier, uh, my max wanted level is zero. So like it gives me, it gives me four wanted four wanted stars for one frame, and then takes them away again because I, I don't have I can't have that many stars. Um, but because of that, sometimes like police cars like spawn in front of me. <laughs> that, that they have like one frame to spawn, and they do it and try and kill me, and then instantly stop. Man, my throat hurts when I was talking. YOLO fence. I ain't YOLO in anything when I'm <laughs> duping the mission. Because then it's not as simple as, oh shit, I'll just start it again. It's like, oh no, I broke the game and I physically can't continue. <laughs> but, see, look, that, that officer just spawned. Because he's trying to get me that one frame I had four stars. Old Josh would do Yolo events. Old Josh wasn't duping the monster. <laughs> this is a hard dupe, alright? I made it look easy because I got it first time. But this shit's hard. <laughs> if I skipped that cutscene any slower, I would have soft locked. Can he get busted on the one frame? Maybe. I don't know. That's a good question. That'd be pretty impressive if I did. Yeah, the only problem with the zero star wanted level. <laughs> um, the only problem with the zero star wanted level is if I die, I'll lose it. And if I reload a save, I'll lose it. So that makes practice very difficult, right? I have to, like, practice all of Los Venturas in one go and I can't fuck up. Or I guess I could use a different save, but yeah. One frame ultra pop. If I get busted in like the one frame I have four stars, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. True YOLO fence is where I turn off the frame limiter and drive into it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Not when I'm duping monster. 
I'm sorry, but no, it's not a thing that's going to happen anymore. Oh yeah, also that guy is still there waiting for me to start the mission. Okay. The boss was right about you. Okay. The boss also there's right two of them. The boss will be in touch. Oh yeah, also this happens. Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure how to stop this from happening. Um, this isn't a soft flop, he'll pop out any second now. And we'll continue on. Also I've got a 414, nice. There he goes. There we go. Alright. Um, I didn't split twice. That's kind of concerning. <laughs> so yeah, look, all the monster truck. This guy is still here. Oh, also we have that. Um, yeah, that's not going away for a while. <laughs> Alright, what phone call is this? Who the fuck is this? Alright, so that... This here, this is Hijack, yeah? But because I did the mission twice, we don't actually have Hijack. <laughs> So it's not actually there. So I need to wait for another phone call. There it is. That's the interdiction phone call. Hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, the monster truck's still there. All right. Yeah, that that box isn't isn't going away. Oh yeah, the markers don't disappear. I've still got the marker from when I duped T-Bone Mendez earlier. That blue one, blue downwards triangle. The markers never go away, they're there forever. <laughs> you gotta deal with that. Yeah, yeah, if if you go in debt at the casino, they'll send people to, like, uh, kill you, yeah. That is true. Whee! Nice. Oh, it's not permanent. It, it'll go away eventually. I think it goes away at the start of flight school? I don't quite remember. I don't remember when, but it, it'll go away eventually. It's just good that it doesn't keep listing my damn time, so that'd be really fucking annoying. But it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Did I pick up the rockets? Yeah, I did. Yeah, but the thing is, because I dupe flight school, uh, we get a different box on the screen instead. <laughs> so... That box goes away, but another one doesn't. <laughs> Why did I slow down so much there? The guy with dead pixel on my monitor. They're not dead, you can see stuff behind it. Look, see there's that stuff. It's just a 50% a opacity black box. Also, everyone who does this mission does this wrong. You're supposed to shoot that helicopter first, then that helicopter, so you don't shoot your own helicopter. Come on, now. Oh, I wasn't even locked on, shit. Oh, everyone's so shit at this mission, and then I'm like, fucking it up. Also, I keep aiming over there, thinking there's a helicopter, but there isn't. It's just the damn um, marker. Where's this helicopter at? There you go. Got it. Oh, well, I keep getting those four stars here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, where's my Sanchez? Over here. It's nice that I don't need to pick up AK-47 ammo. Since we don't do... Um, Darang Fang, we don't die anymore, so you keep your weapons. Which is a, a blessing and a curse, because I have like the chainsaw and all that shit constantly now. And all the chainsaw does is like slow me down when I switch to it by accident. Ow. Hello there, officer. How's it going? It's nice having zero stars, I can do whatever I want. 
pick up these rockets. It is monster dupe risky. It's very fucking risky. If you skip the cutscene or mess up, you'll uh, soft lock the game. Which is bad. Because this is like three hours into a run, so <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I think you get your wanted stars back at some point, you know, I don't remember when, or sorry, I don't know when, I haven't got that far. The furthest I've learned is uh, flight school, and then I don't know what to do after that. I don't think you do stow away after flight school, but I just left the route like it is. But yeah, we're duping flights, we're duping um, okay. the final the flight school missions, so we could skip NOE. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching or listening, or listening or both. both. Whee! So many police just driving around. <sighs> oh, this way, where am I going? I always forget this. I blame the massive black rectangle on my screen. It's distracting. It's a nice rectangle. <laughs> Park my bike outside the garage. It's funny how they don't actually despawn your vehicle, they just lock it inside the garage, but they fucked up and made the garage too big. Sorry, too small. The trigger extends beyond it. Subscribe to twitch.tv slash Joshmas to get rid of the black box. <laughs> oh, he was too fast there. to give me four stars and just quite kind of, or can't quite do it. <clears throat> Poor game. So broken. There's just police everywhere. <laughs> I'll just walk up to that SWAT van and just steal it. <laughs> Careful. this time. Now oh, it's like, like seven seconds off? Eight seconds off? Like eight seconds, yeah. Damn. I have some really short load times. I've been playing for an hour and I've only had eight seconds of loading. <laughs> Is it really worth it me using the loadless remover? Yeah, I think once you unlock, um, unlock Return to Los Santos or whatever, it makes it so you can have Los Venturas again. Anyway, we're doing flight school now. Hey, the box is gone. Woo! <laughs>
Bonk. This is nice, just some nice quiet downtime. It's a shame we don't have KDST, but yeah. friendly. I'm not streaming at a specific time just so NA can watch as well. You have enough streams. Everyone does that. Like every big streamer I can think of other than Kriparian streams at like an NA friendly time. No, I'm gonna stream when I wake up like I always do. Just have to... Only the uh, insomniac Americans can watch, I guess. I only know up until I do flight school and then I run out of knowledge. I'm pretty happy that I... Oh, I missed that. Okay, let's just start again. I'm pretty happy that I managed to do San Fierro, though. I messed up a little bit, but none of the things I messed up were the dupes, right? Oh, no, no, I, I did... Me I messed up Ice Cold Killer once. And I had to re... re-get the on Mission Zero phone call. But that's it. Flaps, man. Oh shit. No, I'm not gonna be facing the right way. Okay, good. Still got bronze, that's all I need. No, don't tweet the stream. I'm gonna finish in like, I don't know, a few minutes. Continuing, I need to learn the rest of the game, and I don't want to learn it on the stream. I was having so much more success, like, learning offline by myself, when I could just, you know, ask, like, stop what I was doing, open up Discord, ask a question, wait for people to respond to me, and, like, you know, go back to watching YouTube or whatever, <laughs> while I wait. There were, like, I struggled a lot lo last night, when I was trying to understand all the San Fierro dupes and whatnot at the end. Um, so I was like streaming on my alt account so people could help me, but that's it. I'd rather not stream the rest of the learning. I mean, I would like to stream, you know, it's San Andreas, everyone wants to watch, but... Kind of, it's just so much better if I just practice online. You know, I can have a little progress board for boards like this. It's like, hey guys, I know how to do San Fierro now. And a bit of desert or Los Venturas or whatever you want to call it. Loop to loop. Okay, we're almost up to the duping bit. I have to do the parachute.
I get math wrong. It just depends on what game I'm playing. This is so weird. Um, I'm only just like doing San Andreas at the end, so. Don't have like. Oh, I have like 600. That's pretty good. Okay. Anyway, uh, parachute onto target. So. This is the last flight school thing. So if I just go now and head on over to. Hello. Shit. Uh, go this way. Don't know, I only have like unimportant calls though, so I have to do the whole minute timer thing instead of 15 seconds. I guess I should like stop nearby, right? Wait for the phone call. It's just like stop here. Shit. Did I get a phone call? No, not yet. <clears throat> Please have a phone call. Phone call. Welcome to hell. Okay, so let's cancel this at twenty. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything I can do while I wait? Maybe there's like body armor nearby or something I could get. But I'm, I'm literally just going to sit here until 15.20 now. And as soon as I get to 15.20, I'll get off and pause buffer. Uh, for fuck's sake, tweet. I'm literally going to, I'm literally going to dupe this and then go offline. <laughs> for God's sake. What is duping in short? Uh, doing a mission twice. That's not helpful at all, but that's what it is in short. <laughs> that's the best I can do for you, friend. There is no in short. You'd have to, like, watch the my entire video from today if you want to figure anything out. One phone call, please. Oh god, please. Okay. Woo! All right, we got on mission zero phone call again. <clears throat> there must be a faster way of doing that, right? I must be doing something wrong there. Yup. I can't lean up or down on holding this button. That's the problem. It's like normally the way I lean backwards and forwards on a bike is with my mouse, but I can't do that because I'm holding the phone call button. The other way I do it is with my right hand, the arrow keys on my keyboard, but I can't do that because I'm holding my mouse, so... I just can't lean back and forth. Maybe I should like bind it to shift and control, like uh, GTA 5 and 4. Oh god. Ugh. This is when we get to listen to a phone call. So I walk into this, then I let go of the phone call and answer it. Hey, what's up? Okay. Hey, but the problem is I can't the end the phone call because if yeah, I end the phone shit, call, I man, exit I at you about that you this know menu. So you to we yourself, just have to wait. Admit it. You're scared. Maybe just a little. Until you've walked right into the middle of a Bedouin arms dealer's camp with nothing but a briefcase full of cash, you don't know the meaning of fear. Oh yeah. Try going to the swap me night of wood sometime. Learn to fly, Carl. Okay. I'm gonna put the phone down, then I'll hold S, and we start again. Hooray, right, there we go. Right, so now we're doing this twice. At the same time. Gonna stream bye bye. Okay, S. Hmm, I wonder who I should raid when I'm done streaming. <laughs> uh we should probably make, I don't know if you're still here, S, but we should probably make real-time chatting announcement. Um, I guess. Oh, am I far enough? But yeah, anyway, I'm doing this mission twice, and because of that, there's, there's, a, there's a CJ stood there. I don't know if you can see him. He's pretty far away. Did I even, am I even going to make this? Oh, shit, don't tell me how to do this again. 
I'm not gonna make this, am I? Fuck. No. Uh, I think my game just crashed. My game just crashed. Okay. Note to self: Don't fail parachute onto target. <laughs> when you do it. Oh dear.